Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are continuing the Zodiac series and today we are going to be talking about Aries. We are going to be discussing all of the traits that Aries people have. I have a lot of other videos going on so I'm doing one Zodiac per season. So next up we have Taurus but today we're going to be discussing Aries and I know what you Aries are thinking. She went with the typical red because we're a fire sign. But it's just like you guys are so red. You guys are so feisty and powerful and fiery that I wanted to incorporate red some way, somehow, but I ended up going with like a burgundy mixed with a red lip because I didn't want it just to be like a bold red because I feel like you guys aren't so basic just to wear a red lip. I wanted it deeper and sexier, so I went with like a vampy burgundy red lip and I also created this red fiery wing, which I thought was really, really appropriate and unique because you guys are very unique. You guys are the first zodiac. So Aries is actually the first sign in the zodiac. And so you guys are adventurous and you go for it. So that's why I created this look. But let's go ahead and get into all of the characteristics about Aries. So Aries are cardinal, which means they're not fixed. So they're cardinal masculine fire signs. Cardinal quality represents all new beginnings and the energy of the things that are just starting. Each sign of this quality has the ability to make a sharp turn and change their life and the life of others. So the start of Aries is actually on the first day of spring because you guys are all about new beginnings, starting over, but not in the Scorpio Phoenix death way, but you guys are just that beginning. You start fresh when everything is blooming and think of a young child who's experiencing life and who is learning about themselves, who doesn't take things too seriously, but wants to kind of experience things and go through things, like very hands-on. Aries, you know, because they are the first ones, they're natural born leaders and so a lot of the times they're very hardworking, they're very successful, and because they have that masculine quality to them they are very headstrong they are the type not only because they're fire signs but because they're a masculine fire sign they're just the type that are they're gonna put their foot down they can be a little bit stubborn so I know three female Aries and I know one male Aries and one thing that they all have in common is that they're fearless I feel like they're the type of people that really just want to experience things they love adventure they love just diving into different things, people, just life. Like they don't take life too serious. They don't have time for that. So the Aries color is actually red. It's not something that's made up and it's not just because you guys are fire signs. It's just that red represents power. It represents strength. So you guys are ruled by the planet Mars and here it says Mars is the planet that rules the sign of Aries and traditionally Scorpio. Its main paradox hides in the fact that it is in charge of our first breath and our last one. So first being Aries and last being Scorpio because Scorpio is death and Scorpio is that transformation and Aries is that first breath that youthful energetic adventurous non-stop energy you guys are just non-stop you're fearless so when I think of an Aries I think of a good time someone really fun someone extremely loud which I am loud so I feel like Aries are kind of a little bit of everything like they have that loud you know sensual Scorpio ness to them but they have like this masculine take charge Leo in them and they're also kind of detached like Aquarius and full of adventure like a Sagittarius so the only things that I feel like an Aries don't have is like a Cancer quality because or a Piscean quality because Aries from what I've seen and from what I've experienced are a little bit heartless and it's not to say that they break hearts it's that if a situation isn't fitting them they're not gonna fight for it like a Scorpio or like maybe a Pisces or a Cancer they are just going to fold up their bag, pack it up, let's go and move on. Whether they were the ones that did the, the harm or the other ones were the ones that did the harm. So they typically don't like to get so involved in these serious deep relationships because they know that it doesn't always work. And so even when they are in these long-term relationships, they like to keep it fun. They like to keep it, you know, spunky. They like to go out with their partners. So for an Aries, I think they really need someone who's going to keep up with that. Now, I've heard that Aries and Taurus can be a 
good match, but I've also seen it firsthand not work. So think about it, a ram versus a bull, they're gonna go head to head, they're going to clash at one point or another. It's just a really tough dynamic. So I think for an Aries, they need someone strong, but it can't be someone who's as stubborn as they are, which Taurus can be. The date range is March 21st until April 19th, and then Taurus starts right after. And so I, that's why I kind of feel like the Taurus and the Aries kind of have something in common in which they're both the young ones in the Zodiac. So think of Aries as like, let's say a toddler who's a, you know adventurous and is really just wanting to experience life and then Taurus being a little bit older and then being a little bit more stubborn and I want it my way, it's me, you know? So it's like a baby and a toddler going head to head. And so that's why I think for an Aries, especially a woman Aries who can be very strong and masculine and independent, like I don't need no man, but secretly I want a man inside. So I think in order to balance that out, you need someone, or you don't need, but someone who would benefit from that is someone who's also strong but loyal. So like a Leo. A Leo loves, you know, entrepreneurship. They love getting money and they love success and status. And they also love someone who looks really good. And Aries tend to be really, really good looking. And, you know, they always have this really nice body to them. Petite but curvy. They just have their kind of life together. And so I think someone who would balance that, someone who also has their life together. Or someone who's really fun, like a Sagittarius, because the Sagittarius is going to want to go out, experience new things, have fun, they don't take things too serious. And so that would be a really great match with an Aries, because when Aries are in love, they're in it. Like, they are really in it. Not to win it, but they just, you know, they take that person serious, and they can be loyal to that person, devoted. They're not ones to, like, hide the relationship. But when it doesn't work out, they're not going to beg for you. I'm sorry. Like, if you've ever been hurt by an Aries, it, it probably sucks to know that that person just like moved right along, like as if nothing ever happened. For an emotional sign to go through that, it must be really hard. So I've never dated an Aries, I don't know firsthand, but I've known women Aries to break hearts and then later on just say, oh, well, I did a mistake, like I made a mistake. It's funny because I talk to my clients about their signs because I, I like to study people and just learn about new people and how they are and how they interact and who they've interacted with and what worked, what didn't. I remember having a conversation with an Aries woman who was just like, you know, my ex was such a great person, an amazing person, an amazing man, amazing father, but it just didn't work out for me. Like, I just didn't want it. And it's just so crazy for someone like me who is so deep, like, why would you hurt that person? Why would you leave them? Or why would you do anything to harm that? But sometimes it's just the way life is. And also another thing that I found through just knowing different areas is that you guys like to bargain shop like you don't like paying full price so I always would joke around and say if you want to know an Aries if you want to get to know an Aries or meet an Aries go to your local TJ Maxx Marshalls Target because they're gonna be there like they love TJ Maxx and it's not like one Aries like all the Aries I know like one getting a great deal and two they like collecting things they're collectors sometimes they can be a little bit messy but because they have so much stuff. They like like their living room you know, area to be really clean, but if you go into their room, you'll see like clothes, like just a lot of things, a lot of stuff, because they like to shop. I think they have a shopping problem, and I think it's hard for them to admit that they have that shopping problem, or sometimes it's not, but like saving money for them is like, ah, oh, they're just not the best at saving money. They're also really good multitaskers, so they can work on a couple of things at a time, and they're also the type that they're not gonna mind if you say, hey, you wanna come run errands with me? Like, they're down, they're down with that you know hey you want to come work out with me cool yeah let's go hey like they they like going with the flow they like being out they like going out so if you're pairing someone like that with an extreme homebody it can work as long as they're you know they have their own lives you know I think for an Aries for a partner of an Aries I think that other person really has to have a passion a hobby their own friends because you are not gonna want to smother an Aries because they are not with that like you cannot control them it's very similar to a Sagittarius when I really think about it except an Aries is a little bit more stubborn than a Sagittarius, but a Sagittarius is more like in another world. An Aries knows what they like, they know what they want, they're stubborn about it, but they're also amazing to party with. They love to have fun, they love to drink, they're down to dance, they like going to the club, they like getting dressed up. They like that. They don't want to just stay home all day, every day. Like, that would be so boring for them. They like to kind of go all out. And also another thing that I've noticed with Aries is they kind of like, like natural beauty. Like, they're all always really beautiful naturally and I don't know a lot of Aries who wear makeup a lot of makeup like they'll have like their one routine like maybe a BB cream foundation 
in mascara and maybe a bold lip but the only one that I know that loves makeup is Ivana who's here on YouTube Ivana Cora she's an Aries she loves horoscopes and you know she's talked about the different signs that she's dated and on her live and stuff and I'm always really interested in, in hearing her story and she's like such a great example of like an entrepreneur like you know she used to work at Sephora left that she does YouTube she has a clothing line with her partner business partner you know I've known her for a while like through the internet and you know I've seen her progression and living in New York and now living in Florida like she's fearless and I truly truly look up to that quality of an Aries because Scorpio we're reserved and we're shy and we're so deep and we're just always overthinking that I wish I had a little bit of that fearless unattached like carefree attitude like hey that's just the way things happen let's move on like oh a divorce Okay, sign the papers. Let's get it going. I can live on my own for a couple of years. No problem. What? Relationship? I'm not going to force it. I'm not going to stress it. And that's why I love that. So I have a cousin who's an Aries. And he's been single. And he's such a good looking guy. And you know, he has like such a good life. But he doesn't mind being single. Like now that he's getting older, he's like, alright, maybe I'll start like maybe dating. But it's nothing serious for him. Like you never see him like lonely or longing for someone. It's kind of one of those things where it's like, if it comes, it comes. And when it does come, I'm going to cherish it. But I'm not going to stress it. Whereas, um, you know, emotional signs like Cancer, Scorpio... Um, Pisces, you know, they long for that partnership. They don't want to be in a home alone. It's too much. You know, it's so, so dramatic. And Aries is just like, yo, chill, man. Like, let's go have some beers. Let's go, you know, hang out. Let's go shopping. Let's go party. I got work to do. Aries are also really impatient with their goals. And, you know, even just like simple things like waiting in line, they don't like doing that. Um, they're also really aggressive, especially when driving. They're like the ones that are like in a honk and like drive crazy. They're like throwing the seatbelt off and like getting real close to the wheel just like trying to like get out of that situation like they hate traffic because they're impatient and so they're kind of like kind of have a little road rage I won't lie and I've never really seen Aries angry like they're not the type to get really angry about things they'll debate with you and they'll give you their opinion and they'll stand strong with it but it's one of those types of arguments that you're just like okay cool like it's they're not gonna really take it that serious it's not like arguing with another kind of sign they're just kind of fun to debate with and they have their side you have your side and you move on and you don't hate each other so that's pretty cool it says here that Aries rules the head and leads with the head often literally walking head first leaning forward for speed and focus its representatives are naturally brave and rarely afraid of trial and risk. They possess youthful strength and energy regardless of their age and quickly perform any given tasks. So that's another thing. I feel like Aries age really well. Every time I think of an Aries, I always feel like they're going to last long. Like even the older Aries are still partying, are still drinking. Not like alcoholic style, but like if there's a drink and there's a party, they're down for it. They're not going to be super boring on the couch, like quiet. They're going to have fun with it. And I love that. I think that's so much fun to be around and hang out with. I think it's good to have an Aries friend because they will stick up for you. You know, they're very outspoken. So if you guys are out and someone's picking on you, Aries is going to be like, hold up, wait a minute. Like, no, we're not going there like they'll stand up for you they'll start barking and like they're the freaking ram they're gonna go ram somebody for you and I think that's so cool and courageous and I don't really know too many negative sides of an Aries except maybe sometimes they don't want to commit or you know sometimes they kind of have their options open um, or they like to maybe go out too much and not really like save money or they're not too emotional You know, they're not really the type to cry over things and you know spend weeks weeping like maybe My advice to an Aries would be to find out why they're not like that Why they don't want to like attach themselves so deeply, but I don't really think that's a problem for them Like I don't know I don't, even saying that negative quality really isn't a negative quality as long as they find someone Who is on that same path as them who is not super aggressive controlling or possessive or jealous you know as long as they find someone who flows with them I think that's cool and if it flows away that's cool too they're like alright peace and that's where I go back to that Aries is like I don't need no man I'm independent okay I will walk three miles to the supermarket if I have to on my feet before asking you twice but then deep down inside, it's that longing for, actually, I do kind of want help and I do need help. So, you know, maybe try like finding out why does it bother you to ask for help? Like, where does that come from? Do you feel like people are gonna take advantage of you? Do you think people think you're weak for that? Do you not like to get let down? You know, I think that's something that an Aries can maybe work on, but I think y'all are so fun and so cool and so energetic and loud and really cool. Really like level-headed and focused on your work and 
I don't know, I think you guys are the life of the party and everyone needs an Aries around, especially at a party. So we actually just had a new moon in Aries this past Sunday and Mercury retrograde ended on the same day. So right now or, you know, when that new moon happened and 10 days afterward, you know, what I've been reading is it's really important to not delay like what you want and your success and to just go for it. Yeah, and just to not be fearful, you know, for all the other signs other than Aries. I think this time is really important to set your intentions and to really manifest them and to write them down and to really just put them into fruition, like just really go for them, you know, just to not delay that because of your own fears of success and don't be fearful of what you really want because that's how an Aries is. It's like, I'm not scared of anything. Boo. I'm gonna go get it by any means like I'm gonna go for it I don't care if it's a relationship I don't care if it's a usually not a relationship but sometimes I don't care what job it is I don't I'm gonna meet my goal and I'm gonna work at it and I think everyone else all the other signs we can learn from that that's the beauty of horoscopes and zodiacs and moons and astrology is when we're in a certain time period it's really important to take from the other signs what works so well for them and to apply it to our own lives so some famous Aries are Robert Downey Jr., Elton John, Hugh Hefner, R.I.P. Hugh Hefner was an Aries. Makes sense. <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci, Thomas Jefferson, Emma Watson. You know, like, Emma Watson is never in no drama. Or maybe she is. I just don't know about it. Like, she... I don't, I don't even hear much of her. Vincent Van Gogh, Jackie Chan. Cool people. Don't you want to party with Jackie Chan? Like I said, Robert Downey Jr., Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga is an Aries. And so she's just full of like purpose and just so transformative and like cool. James Franco, Charlie Chaplin, Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy is so cool. Mariah Carey. I mean, she's gone through a couple of relationships, but I think now it's affecting her mentally. And But she does kind of jump, you know, from this to that. Like, wasn't she dating her backup dancer who's a lot like younger like i don't know i don't very carries and aries okay reese witherspoon harry houdini kira knightley kristen stewart uh quentin tarantino victoria beckham is an aries ah and she's married to a taurus so it works russell crowe sarah jessica parker you see victoria beckham she's like she's like manly in her beauty like she's so independent and like fearless Kate Hudson, Jennifer Garner, Vince Vaughn, Sarah Michelle Gellar, Akon. Like, imagine a whole big party with all these people in them. I think it would be a really fun party. America, Ferreira. So those are some famous Aries. And we're going to end it there. You know, you guys are just really fun and cool. Kind of out of drama. Just really sticking to your own lane. Sticking to your purpose. Moving on when situations do not serve you. And never looking back. So if you're an Aries, leave me an Aries emoji in the comments. Let me know if you're an Aries. If you dated an Aries. If you're dating an Aries, your brother, your sister, your mother, your father, your ex. <laughs> Let me know what you think about Aries. Is what I said true? Do you know something different? Have you met an Aries that just defies everything? Remember that your birth chart, your natal birth chart is so much more than just your sun sign. So I urge you all to find out your moon, your Venus, your rising, because those signs in your chart are going to affect different aspects and different areas of your life. I have Aries in my chart, but it's kind of not in one of my main planets, so I don't really experience too much of an Aries in me but yes I urge you to check it out I will leave the link below to check out all you need to know is the exact time you were born and where you were born so that's all I have to say about Aries and now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial so we're gonna get started with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Martin Renaissance palette and I'm first gonna use two crease shades just to give my eyes some depth at first when I was doing this look I thought I was gonna do like a v-shaped eyeshadow but then I was like, you know what, I don't really feel like Aries wear that much eyeshadow, to be honest. So instead, I'm just using like the um, brownish burgundy and a brown shade in my crease. But I am kind of angling it outwards just to give my eyes a more elongated, just a longer appearance. And I really wanted the eyes to look like that. Not sure why, but when I think of Aries, I think of those kind of eyes. So I'm just focusing the eyeshadow outwards. And then for the eyeliner, a little trick that I do is I put Fix Plus onto an angled brush you can use this with any color black red any shade so here I'm using the burgundy to create this burgundy fiery eyeliner you could also use a liquid lipstick if your eyes aren't sensitive or you could use like a gel like a cream they do have different color ones you know they have ColourPop has some Inglot but this is just a quick little way to do that then I applied a little bit of black shadow right against my lash line so that when I put my lashes on it's not just like red and then lash 
So here I'm just going to apply some Kiss Lashes. These are in Beehive. I'm pretty sure they're called Beehive, which I thought that was pretty appropriate for Aries. I don't know. I feel like you guys are the Queen Bees, even though Queen Bee is a Virgo. But anyway, we're going to conceal, and I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm just going to do the normal routine. Um, today I'm not going to be baking, so here I'm just applying Laura Mercier powder with a brush. I didn't want it to be too, too dramatic with the baking powder. Now I'm just going to brighten up a little bit with the cream shade from the palette in the inner corners and on my brow bone and then I'm applying the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Golden just to warm up my complexion before I contour it and I really didn't want it to be too rosy like my face so I'm really just going to bronze up. Here I'm just going to contour my nose. First I started with the MAC but then I moved on to Bobbi Brown Golden Light because I feel like it's a little bit better to contour the nose with this kind of shade and then I'm applying that to my eyes. So as you can see with the lashes and nothing on the lower lash line, I just like how it makes my eyes look for this look. And then here I'm just contouring with golden light to really chisel out my cheeks. I feel like Aries really do have some chiseled cheeks. And then here I am baking the sides of my nose, but I didn't bake underneath my eyes. And I'm going over the eyeliner just to make sure that it's nice and even. Applying some MAC Giga Black Mascara and then some black eyeliner just to my upper lash line so that the lashes don't look kind of empty there. Here I'm just wiping away the bake from the sides of my nose just to really pinch it in and then I'm going to start on the lips and I'm using a MAC Patrick Star lip liner and I should have used a burgundy because I'm going in with the burgundy liquid lipstick. First I went in with the Smashbox one but then I switched over to this ColourPop one. All of the names will be in the description bar. But then I wanted to add red to it, so it was definitely a mixture of lipsticks. So I'm kind of blending the two in so it could be a burgundy-ish red. I could have just used one color, but I'm complicated and I like to do it this way. And then I just cleaned it up and I'm just applying a little bit more of the Dior Brow Pencil in black. And then I'm brightening under my eye with Bobbi Brown Pale Yellow. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of lip balm on top. Okay, so I wanted the lips to be matte, but I applied lip balm on top. So that was kind of silly of me, so I'm going to make them matte in a minute. So here I'm just applying Give Me Sun from MAC, some Fix Plus, and then this really cool product from Smashbox, which is a like mattifying lip topper, which I recently just rediscovered and I think is so cool because it makes your lips look a lot smoother, like it fills in the lines. And then I just did a little bit of dip brow. This is pretty much the last step, so dip brow pomade, just blending that out. And then what else am I doing? I didn't apply highlights to my cheeks, but I applied it to my nose. But that pretty much completes the look. I applied some blush, which is actually toasted cinnamon from Burt's Bees. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.